Okay, uh, just a good start to the to the practice week. But they came back today focused and ready to work, and I thought it was a productive practice. So we have to put a few more of those together and have good meetings, and then we'll be ready to go on Saturday at noon. We're excited to be back at home, and uh, it's our first game with the uh, full student body in session. So uh, that should be exciting for our, for our kids, and hopefully exciting for our fans. And in, out of here in practice, I uh, tag them a little more. I mean, is that no, not really. Oh. Just you know, we really the last few weeks just emphasized you know swarming the football. We kind of changed the way we practiced a little bit in terms of the number of reps and uh, and just trying to get an emphasis on swarming to the football defensively. Mm -hmm. It was a little more physical today, but it wasn't by design. I think it was just that I think it was good. You know, I think it just showed that they're serious and focused about rebounding from a tough loss. A young offensive line going up against this front. I mean, what do you have to do? I mean, is it something where you almost have to, to simplify a little bit, or is it? We're pretty simple. Yeah. I don't know if we could simplify much more. <laughs> um, but I, I mean, with the just, challenges, you they, know what they, it is. It's I think it's uh, more than simplifying the scheme. It's emphasizing playing with great technique. You know, and not getting yourself in bad position because you use poor footwork or your hand placement isn't good or your eyes aren't good or your communications off. You know giving yourself a chance, you know what I mean, by using using good technique. I think that's the most important thing for our guys, and uh, you know, just to execute as one. Those five guys, you know, going against their three really good, or four, depending on how they're lined up, defensive line. They, they get tough, I mean, they play the more veteran defensive line. They've obviously had more years to work on mm -hmm. technique, getting a little more savvy. I mean, how do you, how do you get younger guys up to speed that fast. Yes, you know, you just do the best you can in practice working them. You emphasize the fundamentals. You try What you try to do is not make it too big for them. You know, I think sometimes you can overcoach in terms of uh, emphasis on the other guy rather than the emphasis on yourself. So, you know, I think Adrian does a really good job of bringing it back to our fundamentals, our technique, you know, our calls, playing the way we're supposed to play, not making it so much about them. I mean, because they are really, really good, and you're right, they're veteran. And like I said yesterday, you watch the nose tackle playing, you think you're watching a five-year NFL bet. That's how good he is. And you can't, we can't worry about that. We have to take care of what we do and do it as best we can. I think that's the way you have the best chance to succeed. How's uh, Brendel look making the line calls? He's good. He's improved. And it, ha and it helps him to have Jeff in there. Because if something isn't exactly right or he doesn't see it exactly right, Jeff's right next to him. And, and you'd, you'd be amazed. Like a lot of times in the secondary, because those are the two places we have a, the most communication, the, the offensive line and the secondary. And in the secondary, you can see it. You know, you can, you can see it when you watch a game. It's hard to see what's going on with those five guys. But the communication on the front is amazing. And it's intricate and it's detailed and it changes all the time when you're playing an offensive a defensive front like theirs where they do move around a little bit as the ball's being snapped your call could be changing so those guys really have to be in concert and, and when you're a veteran offensive line that's easy because you've worked together so long when you're young it's just you know in that that split second if you don't quite get it you're beat but having Jeff in there helps because at least you know we're a little bit quicker with the calls so um, it's a real challenge it's a great I mean hey it's it's what it is it's going to help us get better I think it depends on the position. You know, I think um, I think positions that depend on real cohesiveness, like the offensive line uh, or the secondary, or is pretty difficult. Probably the offensive line is the most difficult. You know, the other positions you you can kind of plug guys in and get through it. The offensive line, it's tough. You know, they have to work in concert on every single play. Like, even in the secondary, when I'm talking about communication, you know, they're, they're four or five or six individuals, you know, doing their separate things. And, uh, but on the offensive line, it's, 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 a, it's one. So that's tough. Other positions, I think you can do it. Did that make you more hesitant? Well, there has to be a move to make, first of all. You know what I mean? And like I said yesterday, I think that we're, we're playing right now with the, the five guys that give us the best chance to be successful as we see it. And uh, so we're going to stick with those guys and we're going to keep working hard to get them better and, and playing as one. And you see improvement, you know. It maybe wasn't evident in the game on Saturday night, but uh, you see it out here and what we have to do is just get it to translate more consistently to the field on Saturday.
Give me a date. Is that it? Okay. Thank you.